Captain. Resistance bombers approaching. The rebels left. The resistance is dead. The rebellion is reborn today. You have bet the survival of the resistance on bad odds and put us all at risk? That's me, rebels! This ship, its crew, and the resistance. How do we build the rebellion from this? Who are you? The Resistance sent me. Rebel scum. The Last Jedi is a movie I've clearly talked a lot about, but after hearing Sam Witwer say that Ryan Johnson never did his homework, when making the movie, I realized I know the perfect point, the perfect part of the movie which best reflects that. At the height of their powers, they allowed Darth Sidious to rise, create the Empire, and wipe them out. That's it, just that one line. According to Ryan Johnson, the Jedi were at the peak of the power during a galactic war which they were losing at a point when they were losing a bunch of Jedi to the war. Oh yeah, and what, what did May say again? I think it is time we informed the Senate that our ability to use the Force is diminished. So Ryan says he likes the prequels, that he's watched them and he took inspiration from them. But the thing is, how can you say that when you don't really understand the complexity of that film? The thing is, people say The Last Jedi is a really complex film that explores all these themes or that anyone can be a Jedi. The prequels did that. Who do you think Qui-Gon is? He's the main character of The Phantom Menace, arguably. He's not a part of the Skywalker bloodline or the Palpatine bloodline. You see all these other Jedi there at the temple. You get introduced to Mace Windu. Yoda from the Empire Strikes Back, not a part of the bloodline. And you have all these characters there. They're nobody. But I digress, that's a topic for another day. Today I'm focusing on this one piece of dialogue from The Last Jedi. Wouldn't the Jedi be at the height of their power at the period before the Sith even returned, so before the Phantom Menace, when there was no one there to really challenge them for their power and really put up a fight. Obviously we know that ah, they are exploring the High Republic now, but at the time of The Last Jedi this wasn't a thing. The Jedi were at the peak of their power when they were sitting on the council, when they were taking gifts, scum and villainy, any part of the galaxy and not really worrying about Sith. Or you can say that the Jedi were at the height of their power when the Chosen One, and I don't mean Rey, destroyed the Sith. Because that's when the Jedi had brought balance to the Force. That's when the Jedi had accomplished what they wanted to do. So yeah, you've probably seen many clips of Ryan saying that he wouldn't change anything in this film, that he's happy with every choice he made. And clearly in this one line of dialogue, all of that falls flat because it happens throughout the film at various points. And he really clearly didn't do his research about the wider lore. He just wanted to tell his story, not worry about the fans, not worry about the greater Star Wars legacy, just tell his story. And what did we end up getting? Besides some amazing cinematography, prop design, and acting. Tell him Leia has an urgent message for him. I believe he's tooling with you, sir. About his mother. Yeah, so this was a quick video just going over the last share in this one piece of dialogue. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below on what you thought about the last share. Specifically, any scenes which you think Ryan didn't do his research on. I can think of a few off the top of my head. And don't worry, there are more videos like this coming. I have one already planned for the Rise of Skywalker, and a scene in particular which I've seen a lot of people like, but I have a big problem with. With that all said and done, until next time, I'll see you guys.